Okay, this is a brief startup tutorial for the Leica SP8 Confocal, which is this. First thing you do is you take off the cover carefully and put it over there. Next up is we need the computer on, the computer is behind here, and we need the microscope on. And that is all in these power strips. So there's a power strip here and a power strip back there. And so you click them all on. You go on. That's the computer. And then the very back, click that on. And those go on. Okay? Let's wait for everything to boot up. Let me run the layout. You've got monitor, obviously. This has a whole bunch of controls for the Leica Confocal Microscope. They're extra controls. They're also in the computer if you need them. This is the microscope itself. The objective lenses are down here. It's all automated and controlled by the computer. However, you can still control some things like the focus with the regular knob. Don't turn the objectives on your own. Let the machine use the objectives. This will control some things as well. And the oculars are for finding the sample. Up here, there are several other additions. There's a fluorescence bulb, like you learned in 102. And then there's a few other features too, up on top here. The lasers are right here. And then the power controls are right here. This is the fluorescence bulb, and I'm not gonna use it today. Okay, computer's up. You're gonna log into uh, TCS, TCS user. This will come up, no login. And uh, then you're going to find LASX, Leica Application Suite X. And that is up here. You'll start LASX. This will come up, It'll start going through its cycle. There's gonna be one very important question and it's going to ask you about the stage. The stage is motorized. This is, you leave the configuration and you go, yes. Here's the microscope stand. You click yes, initialize stage. Be careful because that nothing's in the way, you go yes. See it's moving? So you got to leave it alone. Let it do its thing, let it calibrate. Then the software starts up and you're ready to go. That's the easy part of Leica SP8. And at the end I'll do a shutdown procedure, but it's basically turn off the software, turn off, the, turn off Windows, shut down the Windows machine. You don't turn off the power with Windows running, because then it just kills Windows. So shut down Leica software, shut down Windows, shut down the machine, then turn off the power, and you can turn them both off at once. So all of the power for everything is on these two strips. All right? Voila. Okay, this is how you load up the sample for the first set of slides you're gonna have. You're gonna have an in vitro gen triple labeled cell, and it's in the package, and I'll give you this, and you leave it in here until you need it because it's light sensitive. Okay. And take out, it's in here, this is it, it doesn't look like anything, it looks invisible because it's fluorescently labeled, but this goes in here and it's cold right now so you have to let it warm up to room temperature, but this is an inverted scope, so the objectives are below, which means the sample needs to go upside down. You have it upside down. This piece here can move back gently. So you move it back here, and now I can put the sample on. So I take this right here, in the middle, pull this back. Now I want to use the oculars
to find the sample. I'm going to use this to make the stage go left and right and up and down. So this and this, this here, the top thing rotates. This moves the stage this way. The bottom one makes it go left and right. And you can make it go fast, or you can make it go fast, which means it moves fast, or slow, and, and you hit whatever button you want, you can change it. And then the other side is Z. So this right here, this top one, this is Z up and down, and then this is left and right, and then this is forward and back. Okay? All right. So first thing I'm going to do is... I find the sample name on the slide. So it's upside down and there's words on there. It says Invitrogen and it describes the slide. I want to find those on here because when I find those words, then I know I'm in the right spot. And you want to do that at 10x objective. So you go to your objective lens right here and you find it should be on 10 and it is. So I'm going to leave it on 10. And I'm going to go back to here, and then that was the third icon down. The second icon should be BF, bright field. And then the first icon at the top, that should have the TL lamp. Okay. This is fine, this is coarse, you got to be careful. Course is only good, but it's dangerous. So get close and then use fine. Okay, I'm turning it this way, which means the objective lens is going up. The objective lens here is going up towards my sample. So as I'm rotating it away, it's going up. You gotta be careful, don't hit the sample. Okay. The letters are in focus on the slide. I'll show it to you. These letters, I'm, I'm focusing on them because if I focus on them, that's the same place that the sample is and the sample's invisible. And now that the letters are in focus, that, that say in Vitrogen, now, I move it back to the sample. Okay. Great, now we're done. Now I have the sample in the right spot. I have the field, the focus in the right spot where I know the samples will be. And now I'm gonna try using the lasers. So I'm not using the fluorescent lamp. The lasers are gonna be this piece. Okay, go back to this and then we find the sample. 